Suns hosted the Rockets, and the Suns are nine and a half point favorites. The over under is at 229 and a half. The Rockets are plus 360 on the money line, and the Suns are minus 460. Now, these are the overnight odds. They're going to change the closer we get to tip off tomorrow. They've played each other three times this season. The Suns have taken two out of three. They won the first one in Houston, 129 113. Then the Rockets won the next one at home, 114 110. And then the Suns won the next one at home, 110 105. Head to head, the Suns are seven and three. The home team's on a two game winning streak. The home team is six and four. The underdog has covered the last two games they've played against each other. The favorite is five and five against the spread. The favorite is seven and three on the money line. The under is hitting that last two. The over is six and four. And the over at 229 and a half is six and four. Only one game that they played against each other this season went over 229 and a half. And one game that they played, the Suns crushed the Rockets by 16. The other game, they won by five. So what version of the Suns are we going to get? That's the million-dollar question. Sort of like the same thing with the Rockets. What version of the Rockets are we going to get? The Rockets are 2-8 in their last 10, 4-6 against the spread. The under is 6-3-1 in their last 10 games, and they are 5-24 on the road. They are 1-5 in their last 6. There was a total of 224, 233, 207, and then 215. Beating the Suns by 4, then losing by 13 to the Thunder, then losing by 17 to the Thunder, and then losing by 5 to the Suns. So the last four games that they've played have been the Thunder and the Suns. For the Suns, they are 7-3 and three in their last 10, 6-4 and four against the spread. The under is 7-3 and three in their last 10, and the under has hit in their last five games that they've played. They are 2-2 two and two in those games, and they've only covered one. There was a total of 236, 224, 236 again, and then 215. Losing by 10 to the Mavericks and by 4 to the Rockets. Both of those games were in Texas. Then beating the Lakers by 10 and then beating the Rockets by 5. Both of those games were at home. And the Suns are mediocre at home. They're 19 and 11. They haven't really had a complete team all year. And we'll see if Beal actually plays in this game because... I don't know, that, that seems like a big waste of a trade that they made. I'm going to take the Suns with the money line. I will take the Rockets getting the points, and I'll go under. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.